Pero syempre, nag-try din akong mag-entrance exam sa ibang school. Kasi syempre, baka, baka na nga nakapal ng mukha ko. Hindi, lasal ako. Tapos mag-sak pala ako. <laughs> okay, out of curiosity, saan ka nag-entrance exam? Just, just out of curiosity. Sa... Uh, Ateneo and CSB. Ooh, Ateneo, ah. Imagine, no? <laughs> 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 If you were to pass Ateneo or CSB, would you have played volleyball for, for those schools? Maybe. Kasi nung... Oh my God. Nung before, actually, so imagine, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> imagine Dawn in an Ateneo <laughs> blue. Diba? Diba? <laughs> Sasabay pa kami. Yeah. Oh my God. That <laughs> would have been crazy. <laughs> then, then diba? and Dawn in one team? In college? Oh my God! <laughs> that would have been something. That would have been something. You know what, I, guys? I consider this a very special episode because um, we have two of the best liberos in the entire country, Dendan Lazaro and Don Macandili. At this time, Don, nung nag-start ka for the first time in the finals as a rookie, Dendan was already at the top of her game. She was in her fourth year with Ateneo. I'm just curious, when did you first hear about this Denden Lazaro who plays the same position as you? <laughs> and the challenge ka pa sa kanya? Like, what was your like first encounter with her? Do you remember? Yun nga, pag nakakalaban namin si Aan, yung Ateneo, sabi ko, grabe naman tong libero ng Ateneo, napaka <laughs> Ted D. <laughs> Pag ini-interview ako, sabi, sino ba yung idol mo libero? Hindi ko lang sinasabi si Ate Ben kasi Ate Ben. <laughs> sabi ko kasi, parang itong Ate, yung libero na Ate Ben, gusto ko yan gayahin kasi ang steady ng pahasa, tapos sobrang mature maglaro. So, yan, secret lang natin yon na. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Oh. I first time ko marinig yan. <laughs> yes. I'm getting goosebumps. Oh. <laughs> so sweet. Pero, Don, okay, nung first year ka, I'm like, I'm, I was so impressed and medyo naingit ako kasi ako, from coming from high school, converted lang ako as a libero. And then, hearing about you na high school pa lang, ang dami ng championships, tapos awarded ka rin as best libero from high school and then, in college, natuloy mo yun. You were, you were still a liber. I'm like, sobrang naingit ako nun kasi ang hirap mag-transition from a different transition to a liber. Tapos from high school to college. So, ikaw ba, masasabi mo ba na malaki yung naging adjustment mo from high school to college even though you were still playing the same position? Um, hmm. Siguro, uh, hindi masyado pero inexpect ko na eh na marami akong kalaban din sa position na yon kasi when you have a team naman it's not like sakto lang na dalawang libero uh, 12 players laging may putal kasi pipili pampipilian pa yan eh so i think uh, coming into college yun yung nasa isip ko. How, how am I gonna prove myself worthy of the lineup? So, talagang when I came into college, super um, nag-observe ako ng ano ba yung kailangan kong skills, ano ba yung kailangan kong i-improve sa sarili ko para uh, at least I'm on the same level as my seniors. So, yun yung uh, challenge ko nung pumasok ako nung college. I, I think there was good momentum with regards to the libero position. Kasi, di ba, season 76, season 77, then then was the libero for Ateneo, and Ateneo won back-to-back -back championships. And then when then then graduated, ikaw naman yung nag-emerge doon. So, you and then then became teammates. I mean, from, <laughs> yeah. from, from rivals, Ateneo and Lasal, naging magkasama kayo. The national team. So I want to ask your your uh, your thoughts on that. Like, we itong uh, libero ng Ateneo, yung ang galim po masa, yung sobrang steady, <laughs> magiging teammate ko na sa national team. Oh, what was the feeling like? And uh, were you guys friends right away? Paano ba yun? 
actually from hearing stories from other people. Ano yan? Ano yan? Ano yan? Sinong people? Sabi nila, mataray daw si Ate Ben. Nako po! Na-intimidate ako na lot. Magiging teammate kami. Tapos magka-position pa kami. So, para paano kaya kami magsasama? Like, kasi syempre, pag-training, magkasama kayo lagi. But it was, it wasn't true. Talaga na super bait ni Ate Ben down to earth. And talagang, ano eh, uh, I expected actually, magiging like, uh, parang, pag, pa, yung, yung competitive ba, na parang, ma, magkakaroon ng hate, kasi na-experience ko yun before, yung parang kaposition mo, tapos, uh, hindi siya healthy competition. Hmm. So, ayoko sanang ma-experience yun. And, hindi ko talaga na-experience yun with atin din. Very healthy competition kami na, um, uh, nagtuturuan kami like uh, kung anong adjustments and we learn together we grow together especially uh it's like my first time being the national team uh going against um uh international com- compet- competitors so parang uh i was learning talaga from Ate din kasi with her past experience with international competition madami talaga ako natutunan sa kanya then, on the flip side, go the man. What were your thoughts when you knew that you were going to become teammates with Don Macandili? Kasi nung time na to, kakabalik ko lang from, from med school. So I was like starting from scratch after a year of not playing. So like, nagulat rin ako na I was included in the national team no? And like, sabi ko sa sarili ko na, okay, goal ko lang. Goal ko lang naman na makapaging part ng national team ulit. So I was really surprised, but you know, hearing that Don's gonna be part of the lineup, I'm like, okay, kampante ako na somebody's gonna be somebody's gonna be you know in charge of the position, and I'm gonna learn from her. Kait na she's younger than me, I was open to like learning from her, and I remember like, I think it was in a game or a scrimmage, na nilapitan niya ako ati den, kasi tino turo niya ako ati den. If you're gonna set the ball, might as well set it kung kung saan ka nakaharap kasi yung nasa likod parang you're setting it sa likod mo. Kasi that's a habit of mine ng Ateneo. So, ginagawa ko siya sa national team. But then, Don was telling me, okay, ate din, relax ka lang. I-set mo na lang kung saan ka nakaharap para mas madali. So, we were learning from each other, as she said. Like, it was healthy competition. Competition, kasi you're, you're athletes, eh. Siyempre, you wanna be yeah. part of the starting lineup. But hindi kami yung, um, anong tawag dito, yung, parang every man for herself. Walang, yeah. walang ganun eh. Especially in the national team, even though like you're with the best of the best, we're all learning from each other and helping each other out. And I think yun yung uh, what we would have wanted the team to be if we had a longer time to prepare. Yeah. Kasi we, we, everybody, everybody there was, was really easy to work with. Yun yung masasabi ko. You know what? Um... You, kayong dalawa, ano eh, like since you guys are two of the best in the entire country at, at what you guys do, playing the libero position, there's always a crossroads with, with the two of you. <laughs> like, nag, nag-meet sa, sa UAP, tapos naging magkakampi sa, sa national team. And then sa PSL, 2019 PSL Grand Prix, nagkaharap na naman kayo. So finals, <laughs> Denden was playing for Petron. So like, Don, uh, like to encapsulate the whole Denden Lazaro and Don Macandili, I don't know what you can call it, um, rivalry, uh, um, partnership, friendship. Like what's it like being Denden's opponent, teammate, and friend? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, love hate relationship at the Wow! <laughs> love hate, ah, my hate, ah. Bakit naman? Bayan yan. lahat naman ng um uh, lahat naman ng players on the court, ano yan? Parang magkalaban tayo, walang friends hmm. friends. Tama, Pero tama. outside the court, it's all love ganyan. Minsan nga pag ganun, 'di ba? Minsan pag um nakapila ka sa main dugout tapos yeah. um, magbabatian kayo ganyan tigaganya na kami natin wag mo siya dunggalingan ha wag mo siya oh. <laughs> 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 
Ayun, relax ka lang ha. <laughs> <laughs> Naglalakuan ka uh, ngayon. I think that's the respect Pero, factor. I think that's the respect yeah. factor. Yeah. Definitely. Because you know yung capabilities ng kalaban mo eh. But then, of course, when you're on the court, parang hindi kayo magkakilala. Yeah. You know, and, and, and I think um, a lot has to be credited to you guys for putting the libero position in the spotlight. Kasi dati nung una, syempre, papanoorin mo yung mga open spikers, yung mga matatangkad na middle blockers. But I think right, because right. of what you guys did, napapansin na yung libero. Like now, we have Kat Arado, tapos yung mga batang libero, like Jennifer Nierva, of NU, yeah. na nakikita mo, siya na yung nagko-coach sa huddle. Diba? <laughs> nakikita mo na, you know, these, these liberos can step up and become leaders of a team and make yeah. an impact as well. Like, I just want to ask the both of you, like, how happy are you seeing, you know, these new liberos step up and shine? I think, um... I was one of the lucky liberos na parang pa, pa peak na ng like recognition ng liberos in the Philippines in in volleyball. So parang ako na yung nag-benefit. <laughs> parang thank you to the no yung mga seniors ko na in the past na uh, although low key sila but really sobrang effective nila yung impact nila sa team. Sobrang efficient nila as a libero. Like, yung position as a libero, parang napakita nila na it's as important as any role. And coming to my years um, in playing volleyball, parang ako na yung nag-benefit dun sa yung sinasabi mo, it's in the limelight na nga. Na, liber- yeah, liberos are as important as any role in the team. So parang ako lang yung nag-benefit. Kami lang yung nag-benefit. <laughs> Uh, pinapakita na sa highlight and sa, sa pinofocus na sa TV, ganun. But you're right, Anton, na like, for, I think, first time watchers of volleyball, syempre yung una mong mapapansin, yung pagbaon yung palo, di ba? Yung yeah. makaka-point. Yeah. But then, it's nice to know that like, people are pushing for, you know, highlighting the different positions then in the sport like the libero the setter the middle blocker because all of those are like vital pieces in the team in the game so and galing rin na well uh di ko rin na imagine na marirecognize yung position namin and yeah don hindi lang hindi sa nagbenefit ka sa mga ginawa namin it's your hard work and I've seen how hard you work. Yung sa national team, parang ako, wow, that's why she's so good. Because she's so, like, focused and dedicated in what she's doing. And, you know, she's like a sponge. As, you sh- as, as she said, like, what she sees, she tries to, you know, learn from, from other players. Kahit na magaling na siya, like, she's, she's proven and tested already. And she's won so many awards. But, you know, she's still, she's willing to learn from other people. Thank you for watching Volleyball DNA. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified for future episodes and interview highlights. And while you're at it, head over to our Facebook page by clicking on the link in the description.